Modbus addressing and daisy chaining. This video will cover how to set Modbus addressing and daisy chaining of Modbus RTU devices. Modbus addressing is used to identify different Modbus RTU devices on a particular network. It is important that all Modbus devices on the same network have a unique Modbus address. The Modbus address is determined by adding the binary numbers corresponding to the switches in the on position. In this example, a Modbus address of 5 has been chosen. This is determined by adding the respective binary numbers for switches 1 and 3, which are in the on position. In a similar fashion, this next example shows the largest Modbus address available by having all switches in the on position. When all the respective binary numbers are added, a Modbus address of 255 is found. Once each device has been provided a unique Modbus address, users can begin connecting them to the AquaSuite using a technique known as daisy chaining. Begin by identifying the Modbus RS45 terminal on the data acquisition server consisting of positive, negative, and shield terminals. The most important factor when daisy chaining is to maintain polarity, meaning that the positive line is only connected to other positive terminals of the devices until connected to the DAS. Repeat this technique for both negative and shield terminals. Locate a strand of three twisted pair of wires long enough to complete the run to the furthest meter on the daisy chain. Begin by connecting one wire to the positive, negative, and shield terminal on the data acquisition server, taking note of which wire color is connected to which terminal. Run the wire to the first meter in the daisy chain and remove approximately three inches of the outside jacket. Identify the respective wire colors and remove approximately a quarter of an inch of the colored jacket to expose the stranded copper wire. Match the polarity of the wiring on the DAS on the Modbus device and connect to the appropriate terminal. To properly implement daisy chaining, all devices between the data acquisition server and the last device will have a double landing on each Modbus terminal. The DAS and the last device will be single land devices on each terminal. Note, it is important to avoid having multiple termination points landing on one set of terminals. Limit all terminals to a maximum of two wires or double landing where the wiring is done in parallel back to the DAS. You have now successfully installed a series of Modbus devices onto your data acquisition server. As we continue this series, we'll explore how to wire pulse and analog devices into your data acquisition system and electrical metering values and what they mean to you.